Winning is everything in Counter-Strike. Not really, but if you want to rank up and face more difficult opponents, it doesn't matter how well you play or how high your kill stats are if you lose. So in order to win, you have to improve at a wide array of skills to get the better of your opponents and make winning more likely. However, a fundamental part missing from this is the realization that for 99% of your games, you are not going to win because you are better than your opponents, but simply because you weren't worse than them. This video is sponsored by Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a 24-7 online trading service for CS2 that is extremely easy to use and completely transparent. You just select your skins, the skins you want to trade for it, and they'll send you the offer. It's that simple. Right now, they are offering a 30% bonus on your first deposit and up to 35% if you use my code WAZU at the top, along with an additional free $5 if you trade $100. That's a lot of free money, so check out SkinsMonkey today and use my code WAZOO. Thank you SkinsMonkey. Now, you may be wondering, is there really a difference between these two statements? Purely based on definition, both statements point to the exact same conclusion. You win because you outskilled your opponents. But the best way I can illustrate the difference is that winning because you are better is a much more optimistic outlook, while winning because you aren't worse is the more realistic, pessimistic viewpoint. Think of all the games you played. You didn't win because you hit clutch after clutch or huge 3Ks into aces. What a majority of Counter-Strike games are really about is minimizing the amount of mistakes you make compared to your opponents. Counter-Strike is not like chess. Results are not necessarily guaranteed just because you make every right decision. It's a continuous game where one extra step or one degree off in aiming could be considered unoptimal and ultimately lead to your death. This may not make a ton of sense, so let's look at some real examples. For those who are familiar with my channel, you might have noticed that the background gameplay is not the usual pro games and highlights, but rather, it's myself this time. Because I'm going to expose myself in this video. This is my first game back in months, and my third placement game for CS2. I am playing in a 5 stack with some of my friends, and the average rating in this game is around 14,000 to 15,000, which according to Leadify should be around the DMG level, but I highly doubt that considering the violation that is going to occur in front of our guys' eyes. If we take a look at the final game stats, at least stats wise, it looks like I dominated this game and that I was just better than my opponents. But let's look at what really happened. The game starts strong with a 5-0 lead and I'm playing pit, so I basically never see any action. But right here I get a call that the T's on banana are rotating, so I decide to take space in apartments to try to get the jump on the T's. I really should not have done this because although I know the T's are rotating, I don't know how many are rotating. So there could have been a lurker in apps or boiler who could have killed me, turning the round into a 4 versus 4. I'm also pre-aiming for the apartment stairs push as though the T's are going to go through stairs rather than balcony, so that was simply just poor decision making on my part. Thankfully, the T's decide not to push apartments, but instead take middle where my lane and arch player dies, which is my cue to push up into boiler and get behind them. I clear balcony with whatever this is and finish my push outside of boiler and stop right here. Right now, you're probably thinking that with the tone of this video that I completely whiffed this shot. Well, luckily I didn't do that, but I would almost argue that what I did was worse. I dinked the guy while missing my other three shots, turned to mid before realizing that this MF is still alive before I finally finished him off with another dink. I then turned back again to mid and missed my entire spray, with my friend being the only reason why this T is dead. Now, if you were being attentive a few moments ago, you will have realized that the person who killed my teammates is named Gure. The people who I killed were not Gure, which makes me looking like a bot here even worse as this man is just meandering on sight with not a problem in the world. Thankfully, he whiffed some shots and I get the kill, but I certainly did not win this round and get this triple because I was better. A couple of rounds down the line, we lose one round, which obviously means we have to eco since the CT side economy is very cheap, so my friends and I do the preferred strat of the Astralis stack on grill. So the first part of the strat is to eat the flash as a part of a nutritious and balanced breakfast, which clearly worked in our favor since the T pushing us did not know how to respond to this and was easily gunned down in the streets. But here comes the crucial moment. Now that the element of surprise is spent, we realistically only have one option to charge at the T's and try to capitalize on the numbers advantage. 
I clearly forgot the one of two steps of this strat and decided to bait my whole team as artillery rains upon them like it's the Japan firebombings. I tried to desert the cause, but my conscience got the better of me, and I 1D the first T and tried to regress before my teammate is executed for desertion of the front lines. Thank god this opera was low because I was aiming like someone with Parkinson's before we finally killed the last T. However, my previous acts of desertion did not go unnoticed and I was gunned down as a result. Needless to say, my team did not win this round because we had better teamwork. The point I'm trying to make is that although, yes, I won because I was better than my opponents, I did not win because I was playing well or that my team outstrated the other team. We just weren't worse than they were. I made a lot of mistakes in these clips, but I won my duels and fights because my opponents made more mistakes. Need more proof? In this round, we were faked out as a team, rotating to B site when the T's planted on A. This would normally be a very difficult 3 versus 4, but I managed to secure 2 kills. But do you guys notice something? Enhance the image. Slow it down. They didn't buy head armor. That's like the first step. They weren't even egoing. I, I just don't know, man. And I don't even want to show this next round, but I think it demonstrates my point perfectly. This is the final round of the CT half, and it's a 1 versus 2. The situation does not look good for me as there is an op in play, and I decide I'm way too good for nades. I choose to go church to force a close engagement with the op, but I suspected that the other team would be in church to cover for his opper. The first mistake is that I'm not silent peeking these angles. If you only take one or two steps in counter strafe, you can remain fully silent, but I didn't do that because my mechanics were rusty. As I make the final peek, I swing out and... Stop. Stop, 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 stop. What is that? Where in God's name am I aiming? The poor silent straights can be forgiven since I haven't played the game in a while, but crosshair placement is just knowledge that I should know. My crosshair isn't even head level. This is the type of shit that makes me rewatch my own videos for advice. But despite a clear lack of mechanics on my end, I still win this fight because this guy apparently has a 600 millisecond reaction time. But anyways, knowing that I killed the opera, I decide to aggress onto the site, half expecting the last T to be banana for the post plant, but I got a slight glimpse of him behind the fountain towards bent at angle, and I end up just tapping him instead of spraying. Now, it's an easy defuse, right? You're not you're not you're not you lost, you fucking lost. <laughs> Don't ask me what it's like to be a legally blind player playing CS. Again, watching these clips, I didn't win because of skill or that I was good, but because I wasn't worse than my opponents. The kills in these four clips make up 36% of my total kills in this game, and I didn't even show you all of the worst moments. You don't have to strive towards perfection in every single field, or make every single correct decision. As long as your opponents are not going to be making perfect decisions all the time either, you can be a little bit more lax on yourself, and just focus on your journey, not the immediate destination. And that's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys very soon.